seven countries with free health care. Health care should be one of the major considerations when choosing a country to migrate to or settle for good. Specifically, you should favor those places that offer a free health care system, since that elevates your access to various medical services. Of course, the term free health care can be used in different contexts. Some nations really offer their health care for free, while others are using private mechanisms through insurance. Other countries have mixed these two setups. Universal health care and free health care are also used interchangeably. When it comes to universal health care, roughly 90% or more of a country's population must have access to various medical grants. Meanwhile, free health care becomes an added benefit to the population with little to no cost at all. Regardless, having affordable or free health care can make people happy and satisfied. It also reflects the effective fiscal governments of a particular country. Given that you can't offer this incentive if your government doesn't excel in handling its resources and health policies. Hello everyone, this is Anne from Pack and Go. And in this video, I'm going to list down all the countries with free or universal health care. If you aim to ensure that you'll get the best access to various health and medical amenities, you should consider migrating to these nations. Seven, Denmark. Denmark's healthcare is universal. It's a system built on the principles of all citizens having equal and free access to healthcare. The healthcare system provides high quality services with the majority of funds coming from regular taxation. Because of its high quality healthcare, the Danish life expectancy has risen from 77 to 80 years old, from 2005 to 2015. Danish women have a longer life expectancy than Danish men. The healthcare system is divided into three tiers of government, the state, the regions, and the municipalities. In health and geriatric care, the state has overarching regulatory and supervisory powers, funding the general practitioners, GPs, hospitals, and psychiatric care is essentially the responsibility of the country's five regions. Meanwhile, a lot of primary health care and geriatric services are provided by the 98 municipalities. 6. Sweden Sweden's healthcare system is mostly financed by taxes. In addition, its quality is superior even among those healthcare systems offered by developed countries. It has exceptional functionality, as proven by the country's high life expectancy. Moreover, it is undeniable that its population has good health, as confirmed by various international institutions such as the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and the World Health Organization. In fact, one of its hospitals, the Karolinska University Hospital, ranks seven in the best hospitals in the entire world in the list made by Newsweek. That's a feat that can't be achieved if the healthcare is substandard. It is notable that the country's healthcare is decentralized, and that means that regional councils and local governments are the ones that manage and provide it to their respective constituents. Specifically, there are 21 regional councils and 290 municipalities in Sweden. The Health and Medical Service Act governs this decentralization. Meanwhile, the central government's responsibility is to define the guidelines and principles for health and medical treatment. It also promotes a favorable political atmosphere for this matter. 5. Canada the publicly funded healthcare system in Canada is dynamic. Modifications have been implemented over the last 40 years to ensure its responsiveness to the needs of its society and constituents. On the other hand, the fundamentals remain the same. Canadian healthcare provides universal coverage to those in need, regardless of their capability to pay. People don't get deductible basic healthcare in Canada. Meanwhile, co-pays are very minimal. Because of this, the reinsurance rate for health care in the country has seen a decline. All provinces in Canada have a doctor that is in charge of handling medical insurance claims. Moreover, a person who seeks medical help doesn't have to take part in the process of acquiring the billing or reimbursements. Based on Canadian legislation, insured individuals are not allowed to be charged for insured medical services. Private clinics are still present in Canada, but they must be approved by the province and are not permitted to charge an insured person more than the already determined price. 4. Germany Germany's healthcare system is Europe's oldest. 
having been established in the 1880s as a dual public-private system. It now has one of the best healthcare systems in the world, thanks to its high-quality facilities and well-trained specialists and doctors. In Germany, healthcare is supported through statutory payments, guaranteeing that everyone has access to it. Additionally, you can purchase private health insurance to supplement or replace state-provided coverage. In Germany, the Federal Ministry of Health is in charge of setting various health policies. The Joint Federal Committee oversees this particular aspect. In 2018, the Euro Health Consumer Index placed Germany in 12th place. It has been recognized for providing customers with a wide range of treatment options. It's also notable that Germany is one of Europe's largest healthcare spenders. Healthcare costs account for 11% of the country's annual GDP. The cost of healthcare in Germany is just above $4,000 per person per year. 3. Australia The healthcare system of Australia is one of the best in the world right now. It provides all Australians with inexpensive, safe, and high standard health services. Various levels of Australian government are working hand in hand to manage this particular provision. In Australia, there are a variety of healthcare providers, including nurses, partner health workers, specialists, and general practitioners who provide primary care. The majority of these healthcare services are available to all Australians for free or at a moderate cost through Medicare and public health institutions. Outside of the public system, you can access a myriad of private healthcare in which you need to shoulder some contributions. Since 1984, Medicare has been Australia's universal health care program. It is available not only to the residents of Australia, but also to New Zealand and other nations with similar agreements. The full cost of public health services is covered by Medicare. It also pays for some or the entire expense of other health-related services. These services may include those offered by general practitioners and medical experts physiotherapy, community nurses, and basic dental treatments for children can also be included. 2. Netherlands The exceptional grade of Dutch healthcare is one of the many wonderful aspects of living in the Netherlands. The government manages the healthcare system, which is then supported by commercial insurance firms. Residents must have health insurance in order to receive services in the Netherlands. The basic health care in the country is provided by primary care facilities and general practitioners, with tertiary and emergency benefits rendered by a number of hospitals. Specifically, the Ministry of Health, Welfare and Sport is the one in charge of managing the Netherlands country's public health services. The Netherlands health care system is placed second in the 2018 Euro Health Consumer Index after previously being ranked first. Since 2005, it has been the only country to regularly rank in the top three. Residents have to pay premiums for health insurance. However, it's not that expensive. Moreover, these contributions are the ones that pay for public health care. In addition, your employer may contribute a portion of your salary to health insurance. On the other hand, self-employed workers are liable for contributing to the system at a reduced rate. 1. United Kingdom The National Health Service in the United Kingdom provides public health care, which includes everything from a doctor's visit to an emergency surgery. If you live in the UK permanently, you will have access to free health care through its health care system. There is also the option of purchasing private health insurance in the country, which can provide faster access to facilities and specialists with minimal waiting periods. The Department of Health oversees the NHS England, which in turn commissions primary care services given by pharmacists, dentists, and doctors. The NHS is not an insurance-based system, but rather a residence-based healthcare policy. This means that all UK citizens, even expats, are entitled to free services. Visitors from the European Economic Area, EEA or Switzerland, are currently entitled to free NHS service in the UK if they provide their European health insurance card. If they have been living in the United Kingdom and were granted indefinite permission to remain, nationals outside Switzerland and European Union can use the NHS for free, just like a British citizen. Other non-EU EFTA citizens can still have free access to services such as family planning and emergencies 
They will, however, need to purchase health insurance if they want to get more health care provisions. The majority of NHS funding comes from direct taxes. The UK spent roughly $200 billion on health care in 2017. In terms of GDP percentage, this equates to 9.6% of annual GDP, making the UK one of the largest healthcare spenders in the world. And that completes our list. Subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll never miss out on any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Take care and stay safe.